Whoever you are, you done, done Frank Russo wrong. You know, all the notes that came out of that amp, all the notes that came out of that thing, the music that was played on it, you know, it's spiritual. Frank Russo is a musician and a self-described child of the 60s, a big kid really. Uh, he's been collecting cool guitars, amplifiers, and other musical gear for most of his life. So when a bunch of it was stolen, it broke his heart. I didn't jump right on it because it was disgusting to me. I mean, every, every time I couldn't even go in there after for a little bit, you know, because I would realize, you know, all my babies are gone, you know, so then I... It was painful. It was painful. It? Yeah. Yes. Frank has run the music box store in Hamilton for decades. He teaches guitar and piano. He buys and sells musical gear. And though some of the stolen items were store inventory, most of what walked away came from his personal collection, accumulated over decades, which he keeps in the house next to the one that he owns. Wow. This place is astounding, man. When I came in and all this light was coming through, I, I, I realized, I said, why is it so bright in here? And, I, and I'm looking at the window and I realized that the stack was gone. How many amps are we talking about from that window? Six or seven? Yeah, there must have been six amps up there. Wow. Yep. There were some rare items among the things taken, including guitars, uh, amps, that are 50, 60 years old and even older, and some are very rare. Oh, wow, Frank, that's a really old guitar, man. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Turn of the century. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, and Bill, because it's rare, it's actually very valuable. We're probably close to 90 grand, you know. And that's conservative prices. That's prices that I could really get. Those are not inflated. I've been in the business 36 years. Yeah. I could easily get that for what got stolen. Well, the way he puts it, Bill, this stuff happens. The burglary is under investigation uh, by Hamilton police, and though no arrests have been made, Frank says there is a short list of known suspects. Uh, he really just wants his stuff back. That gear is really the story of Frank's life, and the fact that it's gone, ain't nothing left for a couple of guys to do except sing the blues. Well, I want to tell you a story about Frank Russo. He's a dude who lost his inventory. Some son of a walked into the house next door. Have you seen him? Hit us up on Twitter at Chasing Hank or the show at Chasing News. We got the music box blues. That's right. Exactly right. Well, that was uh, astounding. You wrote that in the wake of getting robbed? Yep.